Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be talking about how to write the test cases for checkbox field. Checkbox field is also a very crucial field which will be used in every web application or mobile application. So I'll be discussing in detail what are the different types of test cases or test scenarios which you can write for. The first scenario you should write here is you should first test whatever the checkbox which you are going to test that is editable and that is selectable. That is the first thing you should test it. If something recommend says that it should be editable, then it should be editable. If it is not editable, then it should not be editable. Then the second one is the navigation flow. If your application is having a three checkboxes, then the navigation should come from the top. The top checkbox first, then if I click on tab, then it should come to the next uh, checkbox and so on. You should traverse in a appropriate way. The next scenario is whenever we do any operation in the checkbox, then appropriately the data should get saved in the database. And even certain things if we do in a database, then appropriately the data should get reflected in the UI element as well. That kind of to and fro testing also you should perform for this checkbox field as well. Then the fourth scenario is alignment. If it is left aligned, right aligned, whatever the different kind of US guideline has been done for your application, then appropriate US guideline also should follow for this checkbox field. Then the next scenario is the focus. By default, the checkbox focus will be in the first checkbox in that web page. If your recommend says that it should be in the second checkbox, then the appropriately it should work. Next scenario is whether checkbox is enabled or disabled. If it is enabled only, I can select the checkbox. Otherwise, you cannot. Then we should also see to that if the given checkbox is a mandatory one or not. If it is mandatory without selecting the checkbox, I should not be able to move on to the next field. Even if I move on to the next field, if I click on submit, you should throw an error message saying that you missed to enter the checkbox. The next scenario is if whether it is a multi-selectable or not. If the checkbox is multi-selectable, then it should work appropriately. Then the next scenario is whether checkbox can be really able to check or uncheck. There are certain time I am not able to check as well. I am not able to uncheck as well. That kind of validations also you should do it. The next scenario is we should test for location or coordination of this checkbox because in a given web application, appropriate coordinations will be there to where to place exactly this checkbox. So these are the 10 important test scenarios which I can think for this checkbox field validation. I am hoping you guys got a clear idea. If you guys really like this video, then please give a thumbs up to this video. If you guys are not subscribed, then do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.